Social media can be big business for many people who rake in money by posting things on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and the list goes on and on. Well, now that is the story of a Connecticut man who's everywhere with his iPhone. And with me now is the one and only Jimmy Official. Jimmy, good to have you. We're here on the program. How you doing, man? I appreciate you guys for having me. Well, first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself. So, my name is Jimmy. I um, <laughs> come from Hartford. Um, Grew up in Hartford. I'm an influencer. <laughs> um, I'm a food critic. You know, I love food. I love traveling. I love, you know, having fun. I'm always smiling, so one thing about me, I'm a very energetic guy. So many people follow you, it's yeah. amazing, and uh, on YouTube and Instagram. So tell me how you got started into this. So growing up, you know, I always watched social media and stuff. I wasn't ever a social media guy when I was younger. You, know, just, you start getting to like middle school, high school, like everybody using social media, and you start seeing videos and stuff back when Vine and stuff was out. Yeah. So I'm seeing people come up with different ideas and like skits and comedy ideas. I'm like, I experienced some of this stuff too. I can be my own person and have my own type of script with it. And I started showing off my personality. I've always been an outgoing person person so I figured why not be outgoing and showed off with the world and it just happened to blow up and you love Connecticut I love Connecticut yeah you I mean it's not it's not the not the fun is of course we know we could be real but I love it this is where I'm from yeah well but you find fun things oh, and interesting yeah. things in pretty much every town in this place 100% so every day you go out to a different town right every day and what do you look for I look for different things that people might not know about um, some heading things or even stuff I wanted to see you know growing up learning about and never had the chance to go out and explore now I have the freedom to you know go out and check about myself and you know show with the world so people can check them out or see if people interested in and just give my own opinion about it yeah and sometimes news events too you're talking about the crash on yes. the other yeah, day the which we just talked yeah. about I like to you know share some important things with people because I have like a lot of people in Connecticut and the East Coast tri-state area following me so some people say they don't see a lot of things unless they come on my page so I uh, take that for advantage and showcase some news and, you know, certain politics when it comes to that type of stuff. So you're learning while you're educating. You're going out there to maybe a place you haven't been before, but you yeah. heard about it, and then you're telling people about it. 100%. You know, I do a little research before, so I know what I'm getting into. You know, little things I can know, like key things. Go out there and just exploring everything, just, you know, blind. What's the biggest surprise you've learned about Connecticut? The, mo the thing you didn't expect that you've learned? The biggest thing I learned about Connecticut is we have a lot of good food spots. I mean, like, <laughs> we do. Yeah, people don't talk about it. It's more of if you know, you know type of thing. But yeah, Connecticut has a lot of food for every type of ethnicity. Like, if you can find a spot or if you know a spot, we yeah. have a lot of good food. Oh, yeah, these people who say to me, oh, I'm going to New York to grab a, you know, Pizza. this, you know, go out for dinner or something like that. I'm like, we do have a lot of good food. And yeah. from the small towns yep. uh, to some historic taverns to brand new places yes. to pizza to seafood to beef, we pretty much have it all. <laughs> did, did, did you have a favorite town you like visiting the most? Favorite town. I know you're partial like, to Hartford because you grew up there. Yeah, a favorite town. I like visiting. I don't know why. It's, I think I like Stanford a lot. Okay. It's just a downtown. It gives off a similar, not New York, but a similar feeling. It does have a good. It's just like vibe. very live. Yeah. New Haven's pretty dope too. You know, live late night restaurants staying open late. I like I like the, the late night restaurant type of stuff. Yeah. Have you tried some new food that you didn't ever try before? Um. Yeah. I'm very hooked on Thai food now. Thai food. Interesting. Yes. It's amazing. And, and so where is the best place to find Thai food in um, our state? So I do food for vegans and non-vegans. Okay. Um, a Roy Thai Garden in Middletown is amazing. It's a 100% vegan Thai <laughs> restaurant. Okay. And I also I've heard of that. You heard of it. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Woman owned too. Yeah. And it's another spot out in New London I tried. Um, by, it's like Bistro something. And it's very good. Very good Thai food. So can you make money off all this social media? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can make money off of it. It's all about how you network with people and how you monetize your things. I, I like helping businesses out and stuff like that. So like I'm more, I do this out of love. Well, of course you can make monetization and stuff like that. You know, you find different ways because some you got to survive off this too if you're doing this like uh, yeah. full time or some people do it as a hobby. Some people do it for views, but I like. Me being able to like help small businesses out and have them reach out to me like, thank you so much, you're helping us out, it, that's my helping for me. Is this your full-time job? Yeah. Hey, wow, so it can be a career. It can be a career, yeah. Interesting. What are your goals as you um, My dream young? is to be an actor. I want an to actor. actor. You want to be an actor? Yeah. I want to be okay. on TV. That's like my number one dream. I went to college. Um, I majored in criminal justice law, so yeah. You did? So, okay. Yeah. I'm huge when it comes to law. I just stay out of politics. <laughs> you yeah. stay out of politics. Mm -hmm. What kind of actor would you like to be? What would you like to play? Um, I love ideal the, role. Ideal role. I want to be a lead. I want to be a lead. That's like my dream. A lead on a show or a series, you know? Okay. Or just a movie, you know? I love to work with Denzel one day. I know he's getting older, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, being on TV and this is like being myself is one thing I would love to do. That's a dream. Well, let's talk a little bit about you know Connecticut for a couple more minutes. So you, uh, there, is there a town you haven't been to you want to go to? A town I, oh yeah, this one's gonna ring a lot of bells. Dudley Town. 
Interesting. It's one place I would love to visit. Dudley Town, Connecticut. It's, yes. It's okay. like an abandoned settlement. Um, I believe it was recently purchased by the Dark uh, Forest Nation. So it's like, not say it's like privately owned now, but that's one place that has a lot of history written behind it. And like, in reality, we're not allowed to visit. Interesting. So that's Yeah, it's always good to go to the places you can never go to. Yeah. Go. The right way, be safe, you know. <laughs> I heard there's like patrols and stuff like that. So a lot of people have been here before, but you know, I like to follow the, I like to follow the law. <laughs> we'll have to check that out. All right. Jimmy Official, yes, thanks sir. for being with us here in the I program. Appreciate we appreciate it. Much, Thank you. You, you. Take care. When we come back, closing out our program with bugs we need to get rid of and dogs we need to love. And connect with us here. Send us an email or find us on X. You can find us on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter as well. I love your posts, love your messages, so keep them coming. We'll be right back.